So we are now in the broadcast page. What you can do here, first of all, um, for this function, you can send out a broadcast message to multiple contacts. So it can be a campaign for a hundred or thousand people with the same template to send out. First of all, you need to have your template approved by WhatsApp first in order to send out. So they will screen out um, the message with like, for example, sensitive content or cold marketing message. This will be the thing that you would like uh, to do before ahead of the campaign that we would like to send out. So you can do it easily in the Wati platform. First of all, click the new template message, put a template name here, choose the category that is supported by WhatsApp. So I'll put account update for example which here you can also select the language according to your needs, which is all the WhatsApp support in language. Here now I will choose English. And in the header session, you can choose either multimedia. So for multimedia, you can um, upload different format that WhatsApp support. And remember to select the correct one when you upload it. And you can also set a text as well as a title. So I'll put account, oops, sorry, account update, and in the body, you can customize your message. For example, hi, and then you would like to put your customer name. And also, um, let's say a message like your account is activated. So this is like, you know, a simple message that I use uh, as, a, as an example here. And in the future session, you can put different um, things like powered by your company. And then, in the button, you can choose to um, put different button for call to action. For example, visit a website, which here we can put a Wati website or a dynamic website, which is specific to your um, client's account login, for example. And you can also put a phone number for them to reach out to you. And also, you have a uh, uh, an option for quick reply. So it's like a quick answer that you can save it right here. So just as a reminder for you, you must upload and submit the template for approval. This part is entirely approved by WhatsApp. So their SLA is within 48 hours for their approval or rejection. And to my experience, uh, for English, uh, it approved really fast within an hour. So just make sure that um, you would submit the template ahead of time if you would like to send out a broadcast campaign. So you must wait for approval first in order to send out that template message. And for more guidelines, you can click here to read uh, from the WhatsApp official page. And once the template is approved, so now we are going to send out a broadcast with the approved message. For example, you can uh, just click here in the green button um, make a, let's say, um, just now we put, let's put the same name, test template. And you can just select uh, approved it once. So these are all approved it in the platform. You can select it right away. And now the time is 43. I'm going to send, let's say, 44. To schedule a time or date that you can do it here. Next is select who to send to. So what I did in the contact page just now, we have a list Let's say um, for Hong Kong, for anyone in Hong Kong, we can just simply send out to the Hong Kong ones and you'll be able to see everyone here. So I'll just select my test phone, for example. And you can also upload a list as well. So this is um, three different ways to filter a group or select it directly here from the platform or upload an Excel list. So if it's all ready, we can add broadcast. And what you'll be able to see in this broadcast history tab, first of all, you can see the remaining message. Essentially, WhatsApp have a limit uh, for the new user. Every day, they will be able to send a thousand message within a 24 hours uh, time frame. And if you upgrade to tier two, you can send um, 10,000 message per day. And the third tier will be 100,000 per day. So for this one, for detail, um, you will need to see how you can upgrade with the um, WhatsApp official page. And secondly, right here, uh, what you can see off the broadcast, you can see the broadcast statistic. 
For example, the name, the time, successful rate, the number of content that you are sending out to, and the status of the broadcast. So when you click in here for the broadcast statistic, you'll be able to see whether it is a like queuing to send out, success to send out, or after it's sent out, it is, uh, it is like, you know, deliver or send, whether the customer read or reply your message. So all this is really useful for marketing tracking as well, because you are able to see how is the temp temp uh, campaign performance of this broadcast. So we will now wait a bit for it to send out. And it seems like, right, it is loading and completed. So what I'm going to do here, I will show you. This message I have received as a webinar reminder, which just now we sent out this uh, broadcast campaign. And you see the button, as in what we said just now. Uh, you can set yes, no as a quick reply. So let me, let's say reply it. Your customer do not need to type any message with this kind of like button message. So as I read the reply, this campaign, I can go back here and it is all trackable. This number has reply your message. So everything is trackable here and you can also download this for a further report. So I hope this will be useful for you. Um, if you are not clear, you can feel free to contact us. And for the next page, I'm going to introduce the automation setup.